To get this converted into a decent loft room would mean jumping through lots of building regulations hoops. Also, installing a proper staircase would eat into this bedroom. For me, it's a bit of a non-starter as losing space up here is something this house can't afford to do. Because outside the rear yard is, well, just a few yards of space, so there's little that can be done down here. But all in all, it's not a bad little property that was guided at 35,000. Time now for a local estate agent to give us his thoughts on the potential of this two-bed mid-terrace in Cobridge Stoke-on-Trent. This property is very typical of what you find in the area. It's um, you know two-bedroom terraced house. There's many similar properties local, uh, and it would offer a good investment opportunity. But how would the retest over six months? So, what is your budget? Are you happy with that or not? Yeah. I was thinking that was more than what we were planning on spending. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay. I won't complain about that though. All right. Well, just over seven months later, we're back to see if Gareth and Sonia have turned this house into a home. <laughs> Gareth and Sonia have done a great job of turning the house into a really lovely home. While there are still bits and bobs to do, they've pretty much done all they need to for now. You know, I suppose it's a kettle, looking at the his first marking. Thing done was rip the kitchen out. It must be a kettle. Kitchen. Yeah, then, so it's kitchen, then windows and doors. Yep. Spacious and soft, yeah, so they're all done. All outside. And then the dining room and the sitting room. Decorating those. Oh, and carpet throughout upstairs. Did that before we moved in as well. Yeah. So really just to make it livable so we could get in and put everything in here. The old kitchen came out and a new kitchen went in within just a week of the couple getting the keys and it looks great. They're chuffed to bits with it. When we first...